Hey, what's up, guys? So, as you saw from the title of this video, I'm going to be calling out some groups. Some groups that I've come across in my life and others that I have not. But these groups all share one thing in common, and that is, for the most part, they are the badasses. They are the ones of society that don't get along. The black sheep, the ones that go to prison, like me, the convicts, or the ones that are just fucking heroes on the good side of law enforcement, of civilians, according to their standard. The ones that have the fucking bravery and the courage to stand up and lead, lead others, or be the person that they want to be without fear. That's who I'm calling out in this video. And I'm going to be very specific on who I'm calling out, all right? The ones that I've come across. All the gangbangers that have come across. The killers, okay? The Italians, all you guys. The white Aryans, the bikers, the bloods, the crips, black panthers, black Muslims, five percenters, the Mexican mafias, the MS-13s, the mugres, the nietas, the Latin kings, all of you. And that includes ex military, ex law enforcement, who are now on the other side of something very, very fucking serious that's happening. So we need to all realize that if you guys had the balls to stand up and go against government in the past when it was for your own benefit to rob and steal, that has zero fucking honor. Nothing. You get no credit for that. But now, you have a chance to use that. Use that thing inside you that makes you stand out, that, that wouldn't allow you to just sit down and be a good student like everybody else. Something inside you, the same shit I have inside me, that pushes me, that forces me, that leaves me no choice but to stand up and fight and be defiant. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. I don't want to do this shit. I don't want nothing to do with this at all. But if we don't do something now, okay, we are going to lose everything. Everything that we've ever valued in life, we're going to lose. For those of you that have been in prison or have been in jail, you know what the fuck it's like to be a convict. Okay? You don't see this shit happening in front of you. You don't see how it's all coming down to the same exact fucking treatment that we had while we were inside. You also know about house arrests. Right? And plea bargains. What the fuck is house arrest? The same shit we're on now. Though they call it lockdown. It's all the same shit. You're going to need permission to leave soon. And I want to ask you guys. What's going to happen if we don't do something? Alright? I know what's going to happen if we do. I know. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be good. The chances are we get shut down fast. But if we don't, we're fucked anyway, right? And the most important thing, to me at least, and I hope to some of you guys after you're hearing this, because I'm calling you the fuck out, me. I've been among every one of your groups, and I've been solid and good and respected with at least one person or multiple from every one of your fucking groups. Now I'm telling you, I'm calling you out and telling you, you're the fucking tough guys, you're the badasses, let's see. Let's see. Stand the fuck up now when it could help other people. Here's your chance right now to show the rest of the world, to show society that we're not fucking fucked for life. We're not fuck ups. We're not just bad and can't get better. We don't just commit violence because that's what we like to do. We enjoy hurting people. No. Here's our chance to stand the fuck up and do something right and join forces with everyone who will stand with us, civilians included, anyone. Anyone who's a man, anyone who ever acted like you're a fucking tough guy, here it is on a silver platter. Show me. Show me how fucking tough you are. Because this is a war that is being waged against us. And we're about to get annihilated. We're losing so fucking fast. And the things we're losing is our freedom. And I've been hearing so much from this fucked up media that all plays the same fucking record all day long about new normal, 
that we're going to get this new fucking normal once this shit's all done. Let me tell you something. I don't want no fucking new normal. I want the old normal back. I want the way I grew up, free. Even though I was fucked up as a child, who cares about me? The other people were free. I want that same freedom for my children, for my three daughters. I want that for your families as well. I don't want this shit. This new normal already right now, fuck that. This is unacceptable. I don't want it. This is garbage. Fuck this. And who are these people that are telling us all this shit? Ask yourselves, who are they? They're fucking politicians. Since when the fuck are we afraid of politicians? Since when the fuck are you afraid of guns? On the streets, you were fucking badasses, right? Why are you not fucking standing up now? I don't understand. Why the fuck are you wearing masks if you don't believe in that shit? Why the fuck are you listening to curfews if you're a tough guy and you're a badass? Why have none of you come together? I don't have a fucking group behind me. I, I stood by myself always. But if I did have a group behind me, you better fucking believe that every one of them would be standing with me and saying, fuck you, to whoever it is in front of us, telling us, you have to. We don't have to do shit. We don't have to do shit. That's the answer. All this collective community thought that we got to do what's good for everyone. Motherfucker, you stay home if you're afraid. What's good for me is to live free. That's what's good for me. What's good for my children is that I take care of them. That I make decisions for them. Not you. Not no fucking government official. Not no fucking doctor who I don't even know. Not the president either. No person has that right. What the fuck happened to the freedoms that we had? My body. My choice. That's the shit they say about fucking abortion, right? What the fuck about this? Now you want to put some shit inside of us? My body, my choice doesn't apply now? Right? Fuck this shit. Stand up. And... Stop all this fucking infighting. Because the one thing that they didn't plan for, and this is a plan that goes way back, a lot of you won't understand how complex this whole thing is. This goes way back. But the one thing they never fucking planned for, they never even thought possible, is that we all come together. Especially you guys. The ones that have been thrown aside and called losers for life. Convicts. Failures. Fuck-ups. Especially you, gang members, thugs, they never ever fucking imagined that you would come together and stand up and stop the fucking fighting amongst yourselves and realize for once in your life, this is so much more important than that bullshit beef you had, whatever the fuck it's about. Even if there are lives on the line, even if it's revenge for a fucking murder of your family member, this is worse. This is more serious. This comes first. Because this is about all of us and all of our future. So if you don't give a fuck about yourself enough to do it, do it for someone else that you love. Because if we continue, the longer we wait, the less chance there is. And there's already such a slim chance. And I'm not going to bullshit any of you. I don't want anyone joining this thing without understanding what the fuck I'm actually asking of you. There's a price to pay for all of this. For standing up against, in this case, the government. There's a big fucking price. Alright? And that price could be prison. That price could be death. But what the fuck choice do we have? I have to make this video. I don't want to make this video. I don't want nothing to do with this shit. I want to live my life and be left the fuck alone. But I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice because I refuse, even if I live to a fucking old age, I refuse to be one of those people that when the young ones ask me, where the fuck were you during this whole transition? You were one of the people that had freedom before. You lived it. You experienced it. You grew up in it. Why the fuck didn't you protect it for us? Why did you give our freedom away? What the fuck were you doing at that time? And what am I going to say? Wearing a mask? I was complying, I was listening because everybody else was agreeing to the same bullshit when deep down I fucking know it's wrong. I know it's fucking wrong. I refuse. I will not fucking comply. I will fucking stand up even if it's by myself. I don't give a fuck. I don't have a choice. I die. I fucking die before I lose my honor. I die before I allow this for my fucking family. And I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen to me. I may be the fucking first one out. 
I may end up in my worst nightmare. Going back to prison and the worst fucking kind of prison, the supermax, where they fucking put me in a dungeon. I never see human life again. But so be it. If that's what the fuck it is, boy, I may end up just fucking dead. And my children suffer forever. That's how serious this is. I don't want that. It's my worst nightmare. But I don't have a choice. And you don't have a choice either. So either be the people you fucking act and claim to be and use it for the good for once in your life. I know so many of you that I've come across that are the leaders of these groups. You have control. You have influence. Use it for the right thing. For once in your fucking life, use it. Help people. Show them that we could put all other bullshit aside and stand together for one common cause to protect all the rest of society, even if they hate us, even if they put us in prison, even if they shoot us, we do it just because we know it's right and because we're the most able. Who the fuck else is gonna do this? And that really hits home right there, that last line. Because the key to this, in my opinion, is those ex-military and ex-law enforcement and current law enforcement. You have so much power in this. So much, as do all you gang leaders out there. Each and every one of you, gang members, I don't care if you're a soldier or you're a fucking captain, each one of you have power in this. But we need to come together. Fuck the color of our skin, fuck the race, fuck the language we speak, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Come together. And let's do this shit now. I don't know what how to orchestrate. I don't know how to use the internet to put things together like this. Let somebody else do that. Let this be my part here. But there's a way, and we got to figure this shit out now. Because every day that passes, we're one day closer to being locked in that fucking cell and not being let out again. All right? So please, stand with me here. And for my Spanish-speaking fans out there, usted tiene que entender, mira, Si no hacemos algo ahora, perdemos todo. Ya no hay tiempo para pensar. Ya no hay tiempo para hablar. Hay que hacer algo. Hay que parar y vivir. En las calles estaban fucking pandilleros. Van matando a gente. Peleando. ¿Y ahora qué? Con miedo. Sentado ahí. Let's do something now. Please. Give me any feedback that could help us do this. And share this video if you believe in anything that I've said here. But understand how serious this is. Our lives are at stake. I hope you guys got something good out of this. Thank you.